Now, this illustration deals with personnel doors. In accordance with the requirements of NEC 110.26 C3. Now, notice uh, these doors are required under certain conditions. And what kind of doors do we need for personnel doors? Well, let's review the doors at the very left of the illustration. It says doors with uh, panic bars, pressure plates, and so forth. We can define how these uh, doors uh, with panic hardware have to be designed by UL305 and UL10C, as in car. Then the doors have to open towards the egress of the room, the same as uh, the safety code, uh, NFPA 101. Then notice an additional, now uh, these uh, doors naturally are listed panic hardware doors on the inside of the door or listed fire exit hardware where uh, need be. And then the note two next to uh, this requirement, notice the door to the right of the switch gear is over 25 foot uh, away. You wouldn't need panic hardware by the code. Uh, if it was uh, less than 25 foot to the uh, switch gear, then you would uh, need panic hardware. Now let's review the note one. And notice it states the workplace is unobstructed without a column and so forth, blocking the access and exit route. In this case, a single door entry should be permitted. Now that shows that door to the right. Notice we have the appropriate uh, workspace uh, outlined there, and there's nothing to block that electrical worker's ex exit out of there. Uh, in other words, they have an exit route that is uh, uh, free of any type of uh, object blocking the route if they need to take that route in case of an emergency. Now, reviewing the information to the left-hand side, notice the information uh, states door shall be open in the direction of egress and shall not impede the entry or egress of the working space. In other words, a door can't block that space. You still got to have that two foot, you know, to get, a, to get around that door to get out. Uh, when this uh, door uh, is less than 25 foot from the edge of the equipment is shown in the uh, illustration there. Uh, and of course then you, if it's less than 25 foot, you have to be equipped with panic hardware, uh, pressure plates, other devices that are not uh, normally uh, latched but under simple pressure. And sometimes the hands, uh, you, the arc condition occurred, you don't have feeling in your hands and you can take that hip and hit that door and get out of there, see, because of the panic hardware. Now, uh, reviewing the room itself, we have large equipment, so that means the equipment is over 12 foot, uh, uh, 6 foot wide, has a continuous bus of 1,200 amps or more, or 800 amps or more in this case. Uh, they, they have changed that from, uh, for the egress rule, uh, from 1,200 to 800 amps. So. Uh, if you have an 800 amp main in there or more and uh, it falls under the large equipment rule, then notice uh, that you would uh, need the panic hardware. And notice we have the two doors. The one to the left is less than 25 foot, but say the door to the right is over uh, 25 foot. Then the door to the right by code wouldn't, uh, and I'm saying NEC, would not need the panic hardware. Now, the installing uh, electrician has to determine and find out, is this going to be uh, provided by the uh, construction foreman of the building, or does, does the uh, uh, foreman and uh, the building uh, construction company require the uh, contractor to provide it? The inspector is going to say it's got to be provided, see? but it is in the NEC. So a lot of times the inspector will look to the electrical contractor to see if that's there. But electricians 
should re, uh, go over this with the uh, uh, general foreman uh, of the construction of the facility. And then notice the NEC clearances uh, are above. Uh, table 110.26A1 uh, for 1,000 votes or less. And if you're over 1,000 votes, naturally, uh, it would be 110.26C and 134.F uh, there uh, for your uh, clearance rules. So uh, this illustration, 5-8, uh, uh, just sim simply illustrates the requirements when personal doors in accordance with 110.26C as in CAR 3 require this panic hardware to be provided uh, as just listed panic hardware or listed fire exit uh, hardware uh, per uh, code 110.26C3.